Hello and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at my PowerBook G4 that I got for £36 on eBay. It's not in the best condition, but it works perfectly. Perfectly, but it does kind of scratch discs when you put them in. So I'm going to take them apart and straighten them out a bit. But I'm not going to do that now. And also, I'm not sure how to take it apart. I'm going to have to look at some, some uh, stuff. I set it up and I put some cool software on it. So when it, I've plugged it into Ethernet, but I can't get it to work. It's probably, not, it's probably just not working very well when I just when I do it. It's probably just my cables not very good. We've got DVI, S video, um, Ethernet, Firewire 800, Firewire 400, USB 1.1, and Kensington lock. And on this side, it's got a. It's got power, it's got modem, it's got a USB port, and it's got a uh, PCM CIA slot. And then it's got a button, you lift, push that in, unlock it, push that in, and on. I don't think the beam is right, you're meant to be able to push it, and then you're meant to, it's meant to pop up, and you're meant to be able to. So I'm going to push it, and you can kind of the hinge is a bit stiff now and look it's got a really good mechanism that where it, the hook kind of flings down and you can and you can lift it up just like new um macintosh computers you can lift it up with one hand there you go. that's the inside it's got a very small trackpad and this is a g4 titanium from about 2005 i think Keyboard. So let's, let's turn it turn it on. I'll take my Microsoft mouse. It's running yeah, Mac OS 10.4. I didn't, I haven't upgraded to 10.5 yet because I haven't managed to um, secure a DVD or get a USB flash drive to work. Yeah. So let's turn it on. It goes turning on. Apple logo, like normal stuff, and it bongs like a normal Mac, but it sounds slightly different. Just wait for it to turn on. Still got the original hard drive because I haven't got, I haven't ordered an SSD because I don't. I'm going to use it until it feels really, really slow or it just dies. So I don't have anything important on here. Close this. Close this. I've got fan control software so it doesn't ramp up the fan until 50 degrees and then it ramps them up. It doesn't get above really 50 degrees so it's perfectly fine. Close that out. So this is my... The trackpad is okay, and it's got a US keyboard, so that's a bit of a problem. I keep t I keep tapping that button instead of hitting enter, the backslash instead of hitting enter because it's a US keyboard. Okay, so I've got coconut battery. Let's look at what the battery status is. Okay, so apparently it's got sixty-four thousand milliamp hours, which I can't believe. Current charge battery. 855 it's been battery it's been it's been charging for about since for, since i've got it and i haven't gone above that so that's not it's probably about that battery load cycles 863 that's a lot age of your mac 194 months charge connected yes battery is charging no i'm not sure that that's true <laughs> Do you think that's true? No. Okay, so let's, let's have a look at system preferences. 1.5 gigahertz power PC G4, 2 gigs of SD RAM, Macintosh hard drive. Power PC G4 15 inch, power PC G4 1.1, number of CPUs 1. 1.5 gigahertz, 
226k of L2 cash, 2 gigs of RAM, 167 bus speed, boot ROM version, 467, and no, that's 4.8.6, serial number, blah blah blah. All the stuff. It's got that. It's got a hard disk. There you go, 74.53. Uh, all the normal stuff, you can just look it up on the internet of what it is. It's, it's, it's doing it slowing. Wait for it to keep. There you go. Let's go on the internet and run a speed test. Same quite well to load. Show it to the monitor. Nope. 51%. 10 4 Fox is, uses a lot of the CPU. Trying to load modern internet on this 15 year old computer. Just have to plug in my because that's plug in my um, camera because it was running out of battery. So I waited for it to um, finish loading. And decided to still open my photo. Oh yeah, because I've connected my phone, which is the camera. There's no items to import apparently. Well, it's time to get rid of that. So let's go to speedtest.net. I'm going to disconnect the internet so you can see the speed of the Wi-Fi. But I don't think the internet's working because it's not showing up from there. Okay, so let's press. Hopefully it's a load completely. It's not near the stands are ramping up. Clicking go before it's finished loading. There you go, it'll take quite a while. Twelve milliseconds of ping. Wait for it. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, ten. So like ten megabits a second and download. The limit to my internet connection is about 40. So let's wait for the upload. Okay, so let's go. Let's get out. Let's try plugging in the Ethernet and going to speedtest.net. Probably won't make a difference because it's not showing up here. So it did load quite a bit quicker. And it is lower ping. And it is building speed faster. It is going a lot faster now, so maybe the Ethernet is working. Well, this is with Ethernet, it's worth using the Ethernet as a full potential, really. 
I don't think it's ever going to get far higher than this, and it's going to be a huge bottleneck. So it's going to be try that load. It loads. I think oh, that's about the minute of my internet connection with the upload, but about half of what I should be getting with the download. Okay, let's try. What should we do now? a speaker test. I know YouTube won't work but the audio will work so I'm going to do youtube.com. You have to wait for it to load, this is going to take a very long time. You know, it's beach balling. It might not take that very long over Ethernet. Still ain't quite a long time now. Right. Oh, well, the line detective is on a. Um, YouTube thing without um without a YouTube without someone in that here. Crab rave. Turn up volume. It's at the max. Now let's this is the wrong one. I'm gonna use this one. Let's skip forward.
frozen. <laughs> Let's try pausing it for a bit. Wait for the video to catch up. Wait for it, and it'll eventually. <laughs> Zero top tap of them. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe it. There's definitely more than zero that's been dropped. Okay, so let's wait for it to reconjure for itself. There we go. What should we do now? Let's have a look at all the apps that this came with. Came with like fun stuff. Came with VRC, came with Toast 7 Basic, Beat Titanium, Flip 4 Mac, whatever that is. Uh, Skype. Yeah. All I did, I did delete the previous person's profile and then I just added another one. Uh, added another one with myself. BT Home Hub. DivX Player, DivX Codec. VLC. What's this Google Earth? Delete that. Yeah. <laughs> they were a developer, I think. used to have Google Chrome on it. I know it was for, um, I don't think it's Google Chrome, it's not supported. Maybe they downgraded from, um, Leopard, by the way. Why would you downgrade from Leopard? There we go. Now let's try. Let's try downloading. I'll come back once I've downloaded Geekbench. 